Hello everybody. Well, I know that every day uh, each of us uh, threw away a couple of batteries from flashlights or uh, remote controllers or whatever. Anyway, um, I found an easy way to check if the batteries or some of the batteries are still usable, if they still have power in. Because most of the time when you have a flashlight with four batteries, let's say, one get waste and the other three are still usable. They still have enough power for a couple of months or a couple of weeks at least. Anyway, it's a very simple way to use the magnetic, uh, the magnetic sensor of your iPhone or a smartphone. And all you have to do is to grab a piece of wire like this. Yeah, it's like maybe one meter long or two feet long, doesn't really matter. It should be nice to have around one meter. Then you turn it around to make a kind of coil. Not too much. Because we have to fit it under the phone. It's not, it's, not, uh, it's not important how many turns, maybe 10, 12 or something like this. Then, then you can do something like this to keep the wires together in a better way. And this goes under your iPhone or a smartphone. Okay, here we go. Now, uh, we have to find an application uh, which is measuring the magnetic field. Uh, it can be a compass application, it can be any kind of, uh, any kind of application dealing with uh, the magnetic sensor. I find out a very useful one and this is the ultimate AMF something. So. This one is turned on, and here we go. Now we can start measuring. Okay, let me put a little bit closer, if I can. Oh yes, and you may see the numbers. Okay, so let me start. I know this is a good battery. This one, it's and it's an echo. In fact, it's not a battery, but I know it's good and it's fully charged. Then one, one end of the wire goes to the minus and the other one goes to plus. And for one second you measure the power. As you may see it goes to red, that means it's a lot of magnetic field there. And even the numbers are really really growing. Look there, 100, almost 300. Okay, so this is a really good this is a really good battery, as you may see. Let me check another one. I know this one have a charge. I'm not sure how much. Because this is just a way to find out if it's better or worse one about the other. Okay. Remember that one we had the red light here and almost 300 on the field number. Oh, this goes to 70, 68, mm, it's almost over, it's done. So this one goes to the garbage for sure. Okay, let me try another one. It's nice to use the same polarity all the time. Doesn't matter if you start with plus or minus, but once you had a, a kind of repair, then you are doing all of them in the same way. Okay, let's try this one. Mm, pretty good, 125 and red lights. Okay, this can be useful. By the way, there are echoes, so it can be charged. Let's see this one. Oh yeah, this is really good. Uh, those numbers here are not voltage or amps, it's just an idea of the magnetic field generated by the coil 
and the current from the battery running through the coil measured by the magnetic sensor of the phone. Let's see this one. Oh, this is really good. Don't touch it more than one second because if it's a good battery then you can feel even a little bit of heat uh, coming from, from the wires. Let's see this. Oh, this is waste. Goes to the garbage. Not exactly garbage, you know, the recycle place. What about this? Mm. Bad. What about this? Let's see. Almost nothing. Mm, this is good. This can be used. This is good. Like I said, it's just an idea, a compare in between batteries. Here we go. Nothing. Nada. What about this? Mm, nothing. Almost nothing. That's funny, it goes the other way. Huh. 52, 51. This is funny. Mm. Not very good. But like I said, this is good. This this can be used. This can be used. And I know this is really, really waste. So yeah, nothing. What about the little ones? You can check this too. Nothing. Nada. Zero. Oh, we got a little bit of charge here, so this can be still useful. Once again, you see, it's something there. Okay, so I really hope you catch the, the, the idea. The most important thing is to have this coil. Here we go. One meter of wire. And the coil should be big enough to fit under the phone and this kind of application or let me see if I have a compass here oh here you go I got the compass let's see you can use a compass in the, in the same way Here we go. You can you can even see the moving of the compass a little bit. And the numbers changing here from 51 micro here to 38. You see? Okay. Then we can use this. 51. But like I said, it's just it's just for compare one to another so the compass is not moving but we can see the numbers down here sometimes you have to you have to find a, a proper position of the of the coil here we go oh this is really strong now so like i said you have to find a, a proper position let's see one of these No, oh, just gone. Hmm, we got something here, a little bit, just a little bit. You know, if it's like this, and you still have a little bit of, okay, then this can be used. This this can be used in uh, 
in a remote natively remote control or a, or a digital clock for a, for a, for a couple of weeks more so okay first check and then throw it away thank you very much